Members of the Ontario Harness Horse Association and local unions are hoping a rally at Windsor Raceway will help reverse cuts at Ontario racetracks. OHA GM Brian Tropia is upset about the government's decision to remove OLG slot machines from three border city locations. A lot of these people have been notified that they're going to lose their jobs immediately and a lot of the people that I'm representing, the horse people, are going to lose their jobs eventually. It may not be in a week or a month or a year but uh, as, as the racetrack facility um, re doesn't receive that revenue anymore that uh, was, we're contractually obligated to get, uh, the purse money won't be there for these people to be able to race their horses and afford to feed their families. Many of these protesters are still optimistic the cuts can be reversed. They are planning a trip to Queen's Park on Monday. I'm hoping it prevents it altogether because they, they, you're talking about 60,000 jobs. How can you eliminate 60,000 jobs? Uh, uh, I don't know why they have that much power. Windsor Raceway President Pat Solier says they have evaluated the effects of the elimination of the Slots for Horses program. Without some compromise by the OLG and this government, come May 1st, it will become necessary for Windsor Raceway to get much smaller and adjust our racing program. More seriously, Windsor Raceway does not believe any of the 1,580 full-time equivalent jobs in our community tied to the raceway and our horse racing program can be saved if this government does not soften its position. Finance Minister Dwight Duncan announced last week the province is taking out the slots in Windsor, Sarnia and Fort Erie. The decision resulted in layoff notices for about 560 employees. Melanie Borelli, Blackburn News.